Hi guys, I'm Larry from Nosto Support. Today's topic will be the basic introduction or 101 to Nosto's on-site recommendations. So first, let's log into the Nosto admin, which I have already done. And the first step is to navigate under on-site and recommendations where these two builder blocks or modules are hosted. So first we need to understand that Nosto's on-site recommendations consist of two separate modules. One will be, the first one will be the slots and the other one will be the templates and we'll go through the slots first. So to understand what a slot is, let's open up one right here and have a closer look. Uh, the recommendation slot creates essentially a container block or placeholder div which is always visible here on the bottom of the page. This will be front page dash nosto dash two. And this container block when it's present on your site is populated with the selection of products. Let's have a look how that actually works or actually how it works in practice. So jumping back to the dashboard opening up my site on a preview mode. So what we have here is one through three, four Nosto recommendations on the home page, which you can of course enable or disable as you see fit. This might be a bit technical for some of you guys, but let's open up the, uh, the page source code. And I'm gonna search for Nosto element. Not that one, but this one here. So you can see that there are a few container divs or container blocks on the source code and the visible element or the recommendation itself as here is basically injected to this place from Nosto servers when this page is loaded in a browser. Now this obviously leads us to the second question, how we can configure or fine tune the selection of products that is presented or displayed on, in the recommendation itself. Let's have a quick look at that next. I need to go back to recommendation slot settings here. So when we browse up, this will be configuration configurations for best sellers and trending products. We have straightforward easy editor tools to select the uh, the products that you want to populate in this particular element so for top list you can choose for instance is it based on most views or conversions being buyers or buys and then you can limit the populated products or the sorry the selection of products to a specific subset of products so for instance if you would like to display a top list of a certain category of products you can easily just enable the filter here and then specify the category that you would like to display in this recommendation here in the text field. So this is pretty much how easy it is to configure the Nosto elements and as the last two things that I want to go through with you Pay attention to the div ID here, which will be basically the unique name for the uh, placeholder. So if we jump really swiftly back to the source code as well, pay attention to the name here, front page dash nosto dash two. We have exactly the same element here as that defines the name for the recommendation slot and element itself. And the title here, most popular right now, is something that you can easily configure here on the Nosto admin. So when we jump into the visible side of the, uh, the site itself, we can see the title for that element named as front page dash Nosto dash two right here. Hopefully this helped you to understand the essentials how Nosto recommendation slots work. Next, the templates.